ebome na gente aye kede uno zono obose iwuru chitata daluli ne nkunisi wene sera ni fine me na eastern news 24 aye sina chukuo ka bia ma ya gozo ni ne no funo fun otu aye kuro otu ko ya derede ise 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 eh tata bo obose abani idi na aboa nko ma october 20 23 aye wutelo ni fana ko morning tea of Biafran Prime Minister addressing the Biafrans on the referendum in Finland. Emma Choki de Sia Bif, Ogasi, questions Adjugasi, the Biafran Prime Minister, and open some answers for your kind of fun. So, some questions now bother many Biafrans. Uh, PM Zarayabu question near Rawa. So, Kabaroki Gaya of Mofmi de Sia, drop all your own comment. On the commission below, eighty four and year above Eastern is twenty four. I see no other than the Kokoa do camper. Darling, in an order to about you, sir. If we talk about lesson, it's not just about lesson. We are going to design what works for us. And every Biafra today who wants freedom knows what to vote. That is one. Number two is that Nigeria, like I said, is an evil entity, a very complicated entity, and we are going to use a complicated approach and measures in making sure we dismantle Nigeria and make sure we control the referendum and vote of the Biafra people and announce it by ourselves. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mr. Prime Minister. N normally, a uh, referenda in a struggle like that of Biafra has what are called internal dynamics, you know, kind of a sampling. We've done so in Ambazonia, and all the time we've got an overwhelming majority of Ambazonians um, showing the adherence to the outcome of independence. Most times, um, referenda in these kinds of struggles at the later stage are organized for purposes of one, international legitimacy and recognition. Before the Eritreans um, asked for a referendum, they had captured the capital. They had defeated Ethiopia in one of the biggest battles and had taken Asmara. So the purpose was simply to transcend from the process of resistance into that of governance following standard procedures of taking the consent of their people. It was just, uh, just normal transitional stuff. So from a scientific perspective, I don't even see any Biafran thinking Nigeria, that's one. From a non-scientific perspective, based on the fact that Biafra has existed under a corrupt system, the Biafran leadership will determine the outcome, the procedures, and the standards to get the result that is consistent with the aspirations of the majority of Biafrans. Yes. And, 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 and so nobody should uh, have a, you know, a mixed mind. Because as I have told uh, the PM, for us, Ambazonians, what happens in Biafra is very important. So we need an outcome that is consistent with what we also will be happy about. So, Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Cho. And, you know, to add to what you have said and the support of that, that's why we have adopted the approach of the delegitimization of the Nigeria within Biafra land. From the security terrorist apparatus down to their administrators and those that represent them within Biafra land. It is a gradual process, one step at a time. Like I said, by the time we are going to declare Biafra, 
you will not hear anybody shooting one gun. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rose Biafran from Enugu. Now, my question is to the Prime Minister that we have a lot of children born in Igbo land from Fulani. And I am really anxious that we should keep track of every single one of them. And because Gaza situation will arrive if we don't take serious consideration on what to do with those children that are being born in Igbo land. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a very sensitive comment. And I, I must say that the Afra government is not going to be discriminatory government. We will adopt the most internationally accepted way and norms to govern our people. And for that reason, we are going to enact laws that will put to rest your worry. And again, I'm going to give use many developed countries for example, where you have those people you are afraid of, yet they still maintain order and law. So Biafra is going to uh, develop our charter, modify it to suit our need and to solve this particular problem you are scared of. By making sure, if you look at the charter, you understand about the religion, the freedom, uh, religious right. We find out that in the wording of that particular section, a lot of those things have been addressed because we are going to suppress anybody that is coming to Biafra to kill us in the name of religion. It's not going to happen. So I promise you that. Oh, hey, Biafra. Uh, my name is Chidoze. Uh, I come from the um, United Kingdom. My problem here, or should I say a question, is regarding uh, uh, our brothers, the Idoma and uh, the uh, Igala people. And then for me, particularly, I came from Yahamufu, where the pogrom have been ongoing for a very long time, in a place where my people, they are the only Igbos that in IDP camps. Their territory has been taken over by uncircumcised Fulani, having their everything about them in the villages where you, when you hear about the Hamuf, you just think it is just, but their villages have all been taken over. They are the only Igbos, like I said, that is still in IDP camps as we speak. So my question is, because we have a common boundary with the uh, Idomas and the other people uh, of which we fetch the same water, for me to come in with my Igbo brothers, it might take me 15 or 20 minutes. But with my Doma brothers, it could take me just five minutes. If I could want to fetch a fire, I could go to my Doma brother and fetch fire to a light in my house. So my question is, is there any um, arrangements to carry these people along or are we just on our own? Thank you. Thank you very much. We are already carrying you along. If it is not for what we are doing, you will not just be in the IDP camp, you'll be dead. I remember when they invented your community, it was the Eastern Security Network that went there to rescue your people. I remember we did very well. And then after that, the reason why you are in IDP camp is not because of the Fulanese, it's because of the military, Nigeria terrorist military from the 82 Division Enugu. After we rescued your people, chased away the terrorists out of the land, they mobilized the military into your land. And in one night, over 100 houses were burnt. Is that correct? So your problem is not actually those who come from the other side you are talking about it is the Nigeria government and that is why the delegitimization is very important that's why we are not taking it easy with those terrorists in uniform who have come to burn your villages and they are burning other villages in Imo state and other parts of Biafra land so 
Our aim is to disarm them. Anybody that bears arms in Biafra land is our enemy and the target. That particular target and agenda has not stopped. In fact, we are increasing the tempo after this convention. So you may... And I'm happy, I'm happy that you are here to say this yourself. But just to correct and put it in the right perspective that the people that put you in IDP camp is the Nigeria terrorist state. And they are aiding these terrorists to take over our land. Unfortunately, somehow they made you to go into IDP in Ahamufu. Like you said, only Igbo people that are in IDP camp is in Ahamufu, not by the terrorists, but by the military infiltrated Boko Haram Nigeria army controlled by the Fulani terrorists. They perpetrated that heinous crime against Biafra people, and your people are the victim. Well, let me tell you, they will never go unpunished. We are coming for them. When a Hamufu was attacked, they sacked the whole village, and people were sharing the videos everywhere. I told the Hamufu, we are coming, and we went there. The rest is history. We made sure that we liberated a Hamufu from the hand of terrorists, only for Nigeria to send the terrorist army to go and burn the village, resulting to what is explaining here today. So we are equal to the tax. More of the Biafra Liberation Army presence will be felt in Hamufu as a result of what you have said here today. We will focus there. And let me tell you, any place we open a front, that has never remained the same. We are going to open a new front in Hamufu. Thank you. And please, yeah, please, the question and answer can continue. We are having some technical issues with the Biafra Liberation Army videos. And so what we may do is I'm going to wait as long as possible. If that is not possible today, we go ahead to officially inaugurate the Biafra Liberation Army and the videos comes later. And I'm going to explain these flags that are here during the time of the inauguration of the Biafra, official inauguration of the Biafra Liberation Army. So, but uh, we have somebody here, which I don't know if the person is still around. Okay. No, there is a woman here. One woman there. She had left. Uh, Fatima, are you here? Fatima, are you here? Okay. She's not here. All right. I'm sorry. I did not uh, mention her. Um, so, uh, while we are waiting... I'm gonna take more questions. As you all know, we have a long day today till eight o'clock when we go to the... So I'm gonna to go to the stage. The, uh, this is a flag of the Biafra. Yeah, immediately after the question. Yo, you have you people finished? I thought you were a panelist. I thought you were a panelist. Go back there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So this is the flag of the Biafra Liberation Army. Official flag. And when you look at this flag, you see five star of David. One, two, three, four, five. This five star of David represent the five Eastern states has, that has paid the biggest price of the Nigeria brutality in Biafra struggle. And that reminds me because Ehamufu is part of Enugu State, and this star covers Ehamufu, one of these stars. 
the star is going to increase and change in the course of the de facto government. But for now, it represents the state that has paid ultimate price, where bombardment, killings, butchering of Biafrans has taken place. We have the Biafra resistance fighters. This is the official flag <laughs> of the Biafra resistance fighters. You have five star of David representing the five states in Biafra land today that has paid the ultimate price of Nigeria brutality. And the star is going to increase as time goes on to 32 plus 1, 33 in number. Because it is going to cover the entire Biafra, 33, 32 Biafra state plus Ebube. The same thing goes to the Biafra Liberation Army. And in a few minutes from now, or in less than an hour from now, you are going to see the Biafra Liberation Army official parade. Here, here you have the official flag of the Biafra Air Force. We do not have fighter jet yet but Nigeria will always run whenever they come with Tokuno aircraft <laughs> they have never they have never succeeded in breaking any Biafra forces down from the air as a result <laughs> of the up and coming air force of the Biafra well, let me tell you, after this convention in Finland, the Air Force will go into action. <laughs> we will stop Nigeria terrorists that is bombarding our land in a very systematic way that nobody has ever seen. You will only be hearing it in the news, what is happening. Believe me, mark my word. It is going to be our secret until we officially purchase aircraft. I want the world to bear us witness today that why Nigeria was purchasing Tokuno aircraft from the United States. There is what we call Lehi Agreement in the US Amendment, US Constitution. The Lehi Agreement prohibits Nigeria from using Tokuno aircraft on innocent civilians. That particular Lehi agreement has been violated with impunity. And also, we are going to you know, defend ourselves with everything in us, including using and activating our efforts that will go into force from tomorrow. From tomorrow. <laughs> I want you to understand that we are ready to go. And anything, anything that flies on the air become our aircraft. <laughs> because you know, tomorrow now they will say, someone up announced they have purchased jet. Where is it? <laughs> we have our own different jet. Anything that flies and deal with Nigeria become our jet. Thank you. All right, I think I continue with this. Okay. All right, I think uh, uh, Fatima is here. Fatima is called Mama Africa in Finland. Fatima. Yes. I want to, you know, thank her for what she have done to the African community. You know, when we are talking about Biafra, we're talking about Pan-Africa as well. Many people don't, don't like her, just like they don't like me. 
And the only reason they hate this woman is because of the grace she carries. So, whenever there is an opportunity for us to appreciate people who have done and done very well, I will always do it. When I was, as a matter of fact, when I was awarded Peace Ambassador, they accused her of being behind it. Yes. And the case is still. Uh, Dalulin and no Mochuku, Kunisi, Venezuela, and Yane Menelua Kuko, na Eastern News 24. I see now Chuko Kabia Maya, Agazuni, and of Nofu, the Kono Bondine Quezoku, Macordio Namandibo, Macamazan and the Kanko is a Patan and Boro, a Chuko Kabia Gozuni, and of Nofu, a toy could a toy um, Dika in the the Prime Minister of Bia Frank was and if they will change you good now. One, we have all on no military uh, battalion in Bia Frank, and then they will change you. Okay, man, I be the way no get to a war G. Macambogi, Luna, and Yaska, I'm on for the queer. Macabu, I'm going to change you. A change ago. I wanna go home. No, no. No, no. Man, I am again. Yes, one. You go. I'm a one. I am again. Yes, one. Anna. Ladies and mas in the car. No. Who do we do no better? All right. Uh, thank you once again. This is uh, Eastern News 24. That one. No. Comment. Go no. Ni phone. No. Gase. Ni na kuwa. And also share it. Come on. Nine dollars. We ne say go. Ni ya ne me. Miracle, if I bought Eastern News 24, no turn update. Yeah, thank you.